people, you're probably just going to be typing the name most of the time. Oh, what's next on my list? Uh, forwarding text messages. Person asked me about that. Uh, I don't know if there's any way to do that. Um, show you here. Send a text to Mike Jones. Hey, I don't really have any options. I mean, I can throw it off to the left, and that's how you can delete, or that's how you can delete a message. Also, you can go to the right. Um, up and down doesn't really do anything. I can't click and hold. If I click up here, I mean, edit, just cut, copy, paste the simple things, add picture and help. I really do not see a way to forward messages. Um, so I doubt you'll be able to do that. Um, another person asked if you can click, li click links right in texts. And the answer to that is actually yes. Um, it's very easy. Say I send a text, I send, well, I can show you the different formats. Say you send HTTP colon slash slash Facebook.com send that, you can definitely click that link. That'll bring it right up there, no problem. Um, you can also do facebook.com, just like that. That works as well. Uh, the one that does not work is if somebody sends you a link and just says, hey, facebook.com, you can see that does not actually link. Um, kind of a bummer, but not a big deal. I mean, you know. It's, I'm sure people can easily add on a www dot for you. Uh, the Google background data collection, somebody asked about that within uh, location services, which I can show you again right here. When you actually first click on location services for the very first time, it actually goes through a setup and asks you if you want to do this stuff in the first place before you even get to the screen. It'll ask you, hey, do you want to turn auto locate on? Do you want to use a GPS? Do you want geotag photos? And one of the questions it asks you is if you want to do background data collection. And you have the option to say yes or no to that. So before you can even get to this menu that I'm on, you're going to go through an initial setup of that. So it's not just going to default turn on the background data collection through Google. Um, so not a lot of people aren't. They were cons Somebody was concerned that um, a lot of people might be submitting data to Google and they wouldn't know about it. You will be uh, very... Um, expressly prompted with that so they're not going to like sneak it in on you um somebody also asked me hey do you need to flick off everything um every card uh to change settings and no you do not you can open as many settings as you would like i can show you here you can open as much as you want and you don't have to flick each one off you can just simply go back to car view and go through with them and pick whichever one you want um, somebody was concerned that you'd have to flick each one off the page when you were done with it, and that is not the case. Um, also, another question somebody had, uh, a bunch of people have actually had this question. I've been getting massive emails. As you can see, I mean, I've gotten two since I started this video. Um, not too many, actually, four. This didn't quite pick them all up, though. Um, I cannot release this emulator, uh, to be honest. I'm not even supposed to have it. Um, but I cannot release this to anybody. I, I do not have permission to do that. Um, oh, there's another email. <laughs> uh, another question I was asked was deleting bookmarks. How do you do it? Uh, and the way to do that is here's your bookmarks. It's just a general browser view. You can actually go up to your menu here, click bookmarks, and if you want to get rid of one, just like a text message, just throw them off the page like that, and you can delete them. No problem. Very simple. Um, also, let me show you that. Just um, I haven't shown this in any other video, at least not that I know of. Uh, let me just bookmark this page real quick. Add bookmark. Okay. Actually, it was in there. But anyways, just if you wanted to edit your bookmarks, you can go back, go to bookmarks. You can actually click this I here. You can edit it. You can change the URL. You can change the title. You can save it. You can cancel it. This, I'm not really sure what it does. I think it saves the image or something. Not really sure. Um, yeah, really not positive on what that's for. Uh, searching memos. Now, somebody had a question whether you could search your memos or not. And the answer to that is actually yes. Uh, they also asked if you can have a list view. That you cannot do, but you can search them. For example, let me just put up a few men uh, memos here. Uh, oh. 
Okay. So you have a few memos here. There is no list view. There's no way to put that in there. Of course, you just have your standard menu. But if you do start typing, say you type cheese, all your menu, all your memos that have cheese are going to pop up. Uh, say you type milk. There you go. Milk. Songs. There you go. It, it will find it. And you can open them right from there. Go back and it'll still save your search there. So that's kind of another good thing about universal search. Uh, foreign character support. Somebody else asked about that. I'm not very familiar with foreign character support as I don't speak any other languages and I don't really use it much. But it does have it. Say you're typing hello or something here and you need a foreign character. I don't know what this is going to translate to on the pre, but on my MacBook Pro, if I hit control and then the letter E, this pops up. And you can go through and you can select whatever character you need. You hit control and P. That pops up. I hit control O. These pop up. You select whichever one you want. Um, it's it's very, very um, simple, I guess. I'm not sure what that's really going to translate to on the pre, like I said. But it foreign character support is there, definitely. And it is very simple to use. Um, other than that, I think that's... Um, about it for the questions i've been through my entire list here and uh yeah that's all my notifications from facebook all those emails or uh youtube rather uh again thank you for all the great responses on these videos i still made it to engadget and a lot of other sites um i'm just doing this in my spare time you know just trying to answer as many questions as i can get keep on submitting questions i'll do more sessions like this um you can send me messages or just comment on the videos. I do read everything you write, even though I might not respond. I'll try to get to it in the video at some point. Uh, tonight, I do plan on doing a complete walkthrough of the calendar, uh, at least at some point today. Uh, some people have asked for that. So um, I'm going to upload this video right now, and we'll see what else I can get to tonight. Till then, goodbye.